Today we're exploring the 3JS animation system and a fireflies effect. Today's affiliate is Exponent. Check them out to ace your next technical interview. This is what we're building today. We'll do this in a couple of steps, um, starting from our basic template, which you can download from GitHub, link in the description. We're going to drop an astronaut in there the astronaut is an FBX file, and that, that file is going to contain the astronaut model as well as the skeleton and one of the animations. This one you see here where he's kind of like, it looks like he's kind of treading water. Once that's loaded, we'll apply a beautiful mesh physical, no, here, mesh standard material. And we'll populate the scene with a bunch of these. Each one of these is just a little tiny model and i've simulated a glow effect by like by layering these meshes with varying transparency to give this kind of glow effect without actually using any post-processing lastly i put a spotlight in each one of them and the spotlight is pointed at the center of the scene get check out scratch that's the name of the branch where i'm starting from here um i think a good place to start would be to load our model to replace this spinning cube with our model Inside the project, I've already included that model. Yeah, I think he's in the source directory, no? Assets. I actually have two FBX models in there. Let's import the FBX loader. Import FBX loader. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, this particular path works because I've defined an import map in the HTML. So whenever I just say JSM, the JavaScript engine knows Oh, he's referring to this path plus this path. That's why that works. All right, let's instantiate our loader. Const loader equals a new FBX loader. Loader dot load a, I'm supposed to say await, async. Let's say const astro not is equal to await and I'm gonna leave the then off for now. Then let's just console.log it, to just make sure it's working at this point. Boom, I don't see any errors. Uh, the FBX loader's pissed. It doesn't like the skinning weights. So it's gonna handle that for us. I don't care about it. So anyway, there's our group, and if we look at the children, there's a skinned mesh. Great. How about scene.add astronaut? So we can see him. And let's get rid of that cube. We don't need you anymore, Cube. You've, you've been wonderful. Thank you very much. So I don't like where he's positioned. Astronaut dot position dot y equals negative two. That looks pretty good. There's our astronaut. Doesn't he look great? Let's see what the animation looks like on him. Um, we'll animate him and then we'll modify his material. Included in the loaded file is the animation. So let's let's take a look at that. Console.log astronaut. It's somewhere in here, maybe under animations. Astronaut.animations. So there's just the animations. All right, make this a little bit easier to see. Let's create a new animation mixer. Const mixer equals a new 3 dot animation mixer and pass in the astronaut. Then I want to grab that animation clip. So const anim clip is equal to astronaut dot animations zero. Now I want to do that clip action. Let's see. Const treading water equals mixer clip action anim clip and then treading water dot play. Oh. Nothing changed. Is there an error? No, no error. In here, just say mixer.update. And let's try passing in nothing and see what happens. Oh, it updated, but then nothing else. Let's pass in this value. Oh, look at that. I love that movement so much. So there's an issue with the, the skin weights. 
They're getting this weird deformation on the ho- where the hose connects to his backpack. Oh, and his helmet is sort of deformed too. All of this can be fixed in, in a program like Blender. Oh, the fingers are really interesting. I'd love to hear how you use the 3JS animation system. Leave a comment below. And let me know. I want to give a shout out to myself. <laughs> for, that's so dumb. Check out my course, Learn 3JS Basics. Textures, materials, geometries, animation, interactivity. Yeah, let's get those fireflies going. Here's my thinking for the firefly, fireflies. We're going to create an empty group and then parent a firefly to that group and then rotate the group and then we're going to get this kind of orbiting animation. To me, that's easier than doing the math to figure out um, angles and whatnot to get them to orbit. So, um, fireflies. Let's just create one first. So we're going to need a light and a mesh and then make it glow. I like this suggestion to make all the fireflies have a single group. And scene, add that group to the scene. Very smart. Get firefly. Yes. GitHub Copilot knows what I want because I've already written it. Just barfing out what I've already read. I've written rather. I'm going to set the hue to a value that's somewhere in the purple and blue range, create a new color and pass that to a spotlight. The spotlight by default is going to be targeted at the center of the screen. Create a very basic material with that color. Create a mesh. Add the light to that mesh and then add it to the fireflies group. Save it. Now it's at the center of the screen, I think. I, don't, I can't see it. Why don't we just remove our guy real quick? And then we could see it. Oh, I can't see it still. Oh, because I'm not calling get firefly. Duh. Get firefly. Now we should have. Oh, you can kind of see it working. Oh, really interesting. Also, really weird. There it is. In the middle of our guy. I'm going to move it over on the x axis a couple of units. Mesh dot position dot x equals 2.0. There it is. This time it's kind of a blue color. I'm going to remove the hemisphere light to really see that spotlight working. Oh, look at that. Why don't we kill the BG so we can get all the contrast? Oh my God, that's so cool. Can you, I hope you can see that clearly. All right, let's get a bunch of fireflies. Let's add these guys back. And maybe dim it down. So we could we can appreciate the lighting more. Ah uh, yes. Create a new group. Const. Const. I'm gonna call it orbit obj. And it's an object 3D. By the way, a group is just an object 3D with some sugar on top. So here's just a regular object 3D. I don't need this to be capitalized. Orbit obj dot add mesh. I think that's right. I hope. Now I want to give my orbit object a random rotation. Um, let's start with with just having a, a the fireflies oriented in a ring around the astronaut from head to toe. So I guess that would be the X Y plane. I'm going to rotate it along the Z axis to that end. Orbit obj dot rotation dot Z I like that, but it should be Z. So now, yeah, it's going to be in some random position. Oh, where is that? How come I don't see him? Oh, there he is. I might need to make this a little bit. This is, I'm going to call this radius. So we can adjust this and define it up on top. Const. No, 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 not on top. Here. Const radius is equal to oh, 2.5. Good, and let's get a bunch of fireflies now. Let's say const num fireflies equals 10 for let i and number fireflies i plus equals one, get firefly. And what I really want to do is add it there. Instead of adding that, I'm going to return the orbit object and then say let 
ff equal get firefly and fireflies dot add ff. That makes more sense to me. Look at that. Now we have 10 fireflies with varying hues. I want to get a little bit of uh, extra randomness for the color by saying, whoops, do it here. And we'll call it, we'll set, change this to a let so that I can modify this. Yeah, if there's, if something, some condition, this uh, one in 500 chance, we'll get a green one. This hue is kind of green. I'm going to increase the probability so you can actually see it working. There's the green one. Um, I guess we want to animate these fireflies. Function update. And that I'm just going to have that rotate along the... Is that what I want? I'm not going to rotate the mesh. I don't care about that. Just this orbit obj. And it should be plus equals um, rate so that we can have a different value for each firefly. Const rate is equal to this random value. I'm going to define an update function for the fireflies. Why, you say? Dot user data equals update. And inside this update method, I'm just going to say, hey, fireflies.children for each call their, your update method. User data dot update. Why are we using user data? We don't want to accidentally clobber another property of the mesh or whatever 3D object. It's just a tidy place to keep it all. And lastly, Orbit object user data equals update. Now inside of our update method, I can say update. And now they're all rotating in that way. That's pretty cool. I'd like them to rotate in other axes as well. And I think it's just going to be random. Some of those are too fast, wouldn't you say? So it's half as fast. I definitely want to rotate them on the Y axis. Let's see. I'll just do it the most naive way I can think of first, just updating all the axes. So that should just be a diagonal thing. It's actually not too bad. Not very sophisticated, but a cool effect. You know what's going to make, there's two things in it's going to make it even cooler. Change the material to a reflective material on our astronaut. I wanted to call him a cosmonaut, on our cosmonaut. And then give each one of those little points, which represents a light, some glowiness. Let's do the glowiness first. So I've written a method to add glow to the mesh. Let's see what that looks like. Um, where do I put it? How about, how about here? No, no, here. So here's our add glow method, where I just create a mesh basic material, very low opacity, mostly transparent, and then create a bunch of new meshes, each using this geo and this glow mat, and they're of varying sizes, uh, starting at like just 50% bigger all the way up to six times bigger. And those are all added to the mesh. Let's see what that looks like. It doesn't look like anything. Oh, cause I'm not calling it. So add glow to the mesh. Oh my God, that works so well. And it really improves the effect, doesn't it? It gives the impression that these things are giving off light. Um, they're still moving too fast. The rate. Let's slow that down. Another 50%. Let's change the material on this guy. And why not give him a, a few more? Increases the odds of getting a green one. All right, so the material we are going to define up here where we load our astronaut. Here. Mesh. Standard material. Let's see what it does. There. Almost done. Very low roughness, very high metalness, and flat shading is false. That's great. There's my new material. Oh, what are you going to do? You want to traverse the mesh? Because that's what we need to do. We need to say astronaut dot traverse. And we, I guess C. What is C? Oh, it's child. And we'll say, if the child is a mesh, give it that material that we just created. Format this and see what happens. Oh, wow. Look at that. Um, let's bring that background back. Was it better without the background? Maybe with a rim light, it would be better. Like a bright light from behind, like... 
kind of delineates it. Otherwise, I wonder if I can pass in a lightness malt. Lightness malt, yeah, it's some low value and that should dim it down. That's pretty good. It's not awesome. Um, what are some variations of this? You could try like a regular astronaut texture. There is a texture map associated with this astronaut model, but I lost it when I skinned him using Adobe Mixamo. It's worth pointing that out real quick. Let's go to Mixamo. It's got a collection of characters that you could go grab, like this guy, this one here, this uh, Xbot, I think. I tried grabbing some of these. I found one that was pretty cool. Well, let's see if I can find him. Yeah, this guy, this racer. I really like the look of him, but it's 50, like 50 some odd megabytes. Yeah, so I bailed on that one. But you can grab those and you can grab some animations as well. Um, you could look at all the animations or you could narrow it down by saying like uh, s swim. Let's say what swim looks like. Yeah, and you get this swimming uh, and there's treading water. That's the one I'm using. Yeah, so, and then you just download. You could download just, oh, I got to sign in to download, fine. You could download just the model or the model plus the animation. You can even upload your own model, which is what I did for this astronaut. Okay, I got to sign in for that too. Bye-bye. Let's see how this compares. Let's see how different it looks. And if I refresh, I get a different config, maybe one of those little green lights. Nope, re refresh. There's the green one. There you go. I hope this is helpful. Leave a comment below with what you would like to see me work on, and maybe I can do that in the next video. Um, as always, thanks so much for stopping by. See you in the next one.